Well, one of the most anticipated college football rivalries happens this Saturday right here on CBS 46. The Army Black Knights taking on the Navy Midshipmen for the 120th mm -hmm. time. And the broadcasters, Rich DeMarco and Pete Medhurst, who are going to be at that game. Joining us live from Philadelphia's Lincoln Financial Field. Good morning, gentlemen. Talk a little bit about the history of this rivalry and why it's so special. And, and good morning to you guys. And uh, there's no question that, you know, for a game that, that means so much to people around the world and, and certainly around the country, 120 meetings, uh, college football in its purest form, and, and the fact that uh, through many of the, uh, the years this game has been very close. Uh, the rivalries are, are very close, and uh, Rich, as we know, uh, it, it takes you know one or two plays simply for one of these teams uh, to rewrite a story uh, forever for some of these individual players. And just like you said, yeah, so many people care so much about this game, and the teams they're so evenly matched. And you look at the records, you could say you know Navy's has nine wins, Army has five wins, but the past couple of years, last year Army ended up with eleven wins on the season. Navy had three, and the game went right down to the wire. So really, truly, they say a lot of times you could throw the records out in big rivalry games. This is definitely the case. And as we like to say, I don't know if there's a game where more people who are watching the game and at the game have feelings so strongly to one academy or the other. And I'll tell you, it's going to be some weekend here in Philadelphia. Hey, fellas, this year's game, I know there's going to be, um, you know, a little bit emotional, especially for, for Navy this year, because one of their own was, was killed in that attack down in, in Pensacola. And the team captain's actually going to have a, a special uh, a patch. Is that right? on his jersey? Yeah, Nazaire Cromarty, one of our defensive captains, he's one of our four captains. Every player usually wears a patch uh, representing a squadron uh, or some other form uh, of military representation out there. Nazaire is going to uh, wear a patch uh, in memoriam for NASC Pensacola and Joshua Watson, who was a former rifle captain at the Naval Academy, who I had a chance to, to do an interview with uh, back in January of this year. A terrific young man. And as we often, Rich and I try to e equate to people, when people ask us about what it's like to play football at Army and, and play football at Navy and sports in general, or just attend one of these academies, you know, Josh just graduated back in May and was doing what 99.9% .9 of all of these uh, athletes that you'll see on Saturday will do. Upon graduation, uh, they will go defend our country. He was defending his base at Pensacola. His acts were heroics. He took, five, he took five bullets and still was able to get outside, alert first responders uh, to what the shooter looked like, where he was uh, in true heroic fashion. And Nazair will wear that patch uh, to uh, memorialize those uh, who lost their lives at NASC Pensacola. Quickly, we're running out of time, but uh, besides the patch, there'll be some throwback uniforms as well, honoring two Heisman Trophy winners. Talk about that for us. Yeah, obviously, uh, Joe Bellino and Roger Stahlback for Navy. Uh, their uniform uh, will depict with their numbers on top of the helmet, almost a, a, a leather-like uh, helmet design in terms of uh, the, the paint scheme. But, uh, you know, Rich, I think the one thing, both schools usually do a great job here uh, to honor the past with the uniforms that they'll wear on Saturday. And Army will be honoring the 1st Cavalry Division from Vietnam. That's one of the logos Army will be wearing as the Black Knights have, over the past few years, really honored different divisions known to the Army's history at the Army-Navy game. So some, some beautiful 1st Cav jerseys coming up on Saturday. Yeah, I, the history of this game is really incredible. The only year they were talked about even canceling it was 1963 when President Kennedy was shot and Jackie Kennedy said no, let the game go on. Hey, real quickly, predictions, very quickly. <laughs> Uh, I, I would be shocked if Rich doesn't pick Army, and I'm certainly going to pick <laughs> exactly. Navy. Coming up, but the one that. thing we do know is every year says it's going to be a close game. Army by one score. Army by one score. All, All right, right, guys. Thank, thank you so you. much. We appreciate you. We'll be watching mm -hmm. the Army-Navy football game Saturday night or Saturday at 3 p.m. right here only on CBS 46. Then stick around for CBS 46 News at 630.